Hello everyone, Virtual Investor here. Welcome on the beach again. And just thinking about real estate and why I got into doing what I do, right? And for me, and I think for anybody, it should fit your personal personality. So I, I'm an extrovert and introvert, both kind of bounce back and forth. I like my own time, I like to be by myself. At the same time, I like being around other people as much as I can too. But what that leads to is I didn't like dealing with sellers, right? They did not want to go direct mail, which I did. I did for years, the direct mail marketing side by side, hand in hand when I was doing REOs, always did the REOs first and foremost. And, and the vast majority of my deals have always been REOs. But I shut it off in 2013 in part because I just got tired of dealing with going to people's or setting appointments. Appointments are always at night right night or the weekends because that's when these people are available and then you're, you're on your way to appointments 30 45 minutes away and they cancel last second because something came up who knows what happened but that just got that really wore on me and it also warned me i didn't have the time to spend with my family as much as i wanted to because of this so I'm gonna, what i'm going to shut this off i've got plenty of reos again this was in 2013 around the uh i want to say late spring of 2013 is when i shut this off and went strictly stuck with the REOs. I kept buying at the auctions and just went full bore into that. Does it fit my personality? I didn't want to go out and deal with people. I like being able to, I'm more analytical. I like looking at the numbers on deals. I like seeing what the deal gives me there with the pictures, talking to the agent and doing my own analyzing a deal. I don't want to be negotiating with somebody and hear their life story and you know, find out all these tragic events that happened in their life that led them to have to sell a house inexpensively or cheap. And, you know, there's a lot of other reasons too. You know, you, you're, you're buying these estate sales, somebody passed away, their family is really upset usually most of the time. And they don't always love getting those letters. And so you send letters out, no, no, the responses you get, you can record them all, they're crazy. So anyway, it didn't fit my personality. Buying M off the MLS, buying REOs, buying auction properties, that fit my personality. Plus, I could do it from my own home, off home office or the beach here. I could be bidding on properties at the beach, which I do quite often. I could sell properties on the beach, just make phone calls, text message, emails, whatever. And I've done both buy and sell on the beach multiple times. It's a great feeling. It's something that you can't really do when you're doing direct mail, pay-per-click, all those things. They can potentially make a deal over the phone, which you could do here from the beach. A little harder though, in that space. The other thing, the other thing I liked about it is I didn't have any more marketing expenses. I didn't have to spend three to $10,000 a month buying lists, mailing out, get worrying about the mail house, sending out these things. Did they mess it up? When are they doing the drops? When are those phone calls coming in? Am I available to answer the phone call right away? Am I available if it's PPC to be there on a computer or on a phone, be able to answer it right away, get it to that person and um, get back to them as quickly as possible. And that just didn't fit what I wanted. I did not want that. So it did not fit my personality trait. So I don't do it. So the, I think the key takeaway from this video guys is do what you love, what fits your personality, because if you don't like it, if you hate going out meeting with sellers, you're not going to be good at it and you're going to fail. And your business is going to fail. And I think that's why a lot of people, 95% of people fail in this business because they are doing things they don't like and they don't do it that well. As a result, you're going to fail. You got to love what you do if you want to be good at it. And if you want to make a lot of money doing it, if you don't love it, find something that you do love and go full bore with that. Anyway, that's my piece of advice. Hopefully you guys get something from this video and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.